二零二一年第五条题目系有关于細胞分裂嘅。咁而家有一个学生啦，佢就利用光学显微镜去观察翻洋葱根部尖端嘅細胞进行嘅細胞分裂。咁 Part A 咧就问啦，究竟系呢个洋葱根部嘅尖端嘅細胞所进行嘅細胞分裂，究竟系边一款呢？同埋解释你嘅答案嘅。咁 Part A 咧都非常之直接噶啦，其实就系考翻我哋啦，有丝分裂、mitotic cell division 同埋 meiotic cell division 减数分裂，究竟有咩分别呢？咁最基本嘅逻辑咧，大家都要知道啦。meiotic cell division 减数分裂咧，就系制造配子嘅。洋葱根部尖端嘅細胞，究竟系咪棵植物嘅繁殖部分呢？即系佢哋嘅花啦，例如啦喺佢哋嘅脂肪，系咪制造紧个胚珠入面嘅配子呢？又或者佢系咪个花粉囊所制造嘅花粉入面嘅雄性配置呢？原来都唔系嘅。咁但系洋葱佢哋的确系会进行細胞分裂噶嘛？咁啊，因为啦，佢哋进行嘅咧就系有丝分裂啦。因为喺个根部尖端嘅部分咧，系植物嘅营养部分。佢並唔係植物嘅繁殖部分，亦即係頭先我所講嘅花啦。即係你講返根部尖端嘅部分呢，就係、是、植物嘅生長區域。過往喺成長嗰課都學過啦。喺個根部嘅尖端呢，佢哋係會進行細胞分裂啦。新嘅細胞呢，將會去到個根部嘅延長區。當佢哋接受咗個生長素之後啦，佢哋就會延長，令到個根部呢就會生長咗啦。咁所以啦，洋葱根部尖端嘅細胞呢，佢哋會進行嘅呢，應該係有絲嘅細胞分裂。跟住啦，去到拍 B 啦，题目咧就要我哋提出一项必须要嘅步骤，令到染色体喺光学显微镜底下咧系显然易见嘅。咁其实呢条题目咧就系考紧大家啦，究竟你知唔知道 DNA 本身系冇颜色，你系睇佢唔到嘅咧？如果你有呢個概念嘅話咧，你就會答得到啦。我哋係需要用到染料或者染劑啦，將染色體去染色嘅，或者啦，如果你老師有教到你嘅咧，就係、是、呢個吉姆殺染液啦。跟住啦，去到拍攝啦，以下嘅顯微照片咧，就係、是、隨機顯示咗細胞分裂嘅一啲階段咯。一題目就問啦，以顯微照片 W 開始。按正確嘅次序去排列翻顯微照片，以顯示細胞分裂階段嘅順序嘅。咁呢條題目啦都不難理解啦，就係、是、考翻我哋啦。對於有絲分裂唔同階段，究竟邊個行先，邊個行後啦？咁其實即使題目唔叫你排序咧，我都會提醒你哋噶啦，有翻一個好嘅習慣啊嘛，有翻 V W X Y Z， 你補咗先咯，一定唔會有錯噶，係咪？咁題目都好好喎，講到明係 W 行先啊嘛。咦，真係 interface 間期嚟嘅喎。其實啦，每一幅圖咧，你都見到一個好獨。特嘅狀態嘅 set 嘅呢一幅圖啦，佢係點解後期啊？係咪因為我哋見得到啲染色體咧已經分開緊啦？點解我知道 X 係中期啊？因為啲染色體咧都喺細胞中間嘅位置咧去排列起上嚟啦。所以啦，呢、這個好習慣咧，大家一定要記得啦。所以答案咧，自不然就會係 W 啦，間期，然後去到前期啦，然後去到中期。X 跟住去到 set， 跟住去到 V 嘅，等大家啦。對於呢啲排序嘅題目呢，你一係就啱晒，一係就錯晒㗎啦。你就話哦 W 之後呢，我就 X set V， 跟住先擺返個 Y 落去。喎。」喂，兩常我前面都啱晒㗎喎，係錯後面嗰個啫喎。其實你一開始已經錯咗㗎啦。所以啦，對於呢啲排序啊，或者叫你去擺返一個由小至大、由大至細嘅順序呢，就要小心一啲咯。然後啦，去到第二條題目啦，又係做下計數咯。一個普通嘅洋葱根部細胞咧，就有十六條嘅染色體嘅。咁而家啦，就要根據翻 Y 啦，同埋 set 呢兩個階段啦，就去寫翻啦，究竟喺呢個細胞入面嘅染色體同埋染色單體嘅數目啦。咁呢條題目咧，就係、是、首先考翻我哋對於染色體或者染色單體嘅數字啊，點樣去理解啦？咁題目有講到嘅。一個普通嘅洋葱根部細胞咧，有十六條嘅染色體，亦即係啦，喺一個雙倍體嘅情況底下咧，佢就係有十六條啦。咁當叫做洋葱阿爸咧，就有八條啦；洋葱阿媽咧，就有八條啦。咁加埋就係十六條啦。跟住啦，呢條題目再考大家嘅呢，就係染色體同埋染色單體嘅分別啦。咁大家呢，就要睇返呢一幅圖喎。當一個細胞將要進行細胞分裂嘅時候，進行一個 DNA 嘅複製或者染色體嘅複製啦。喺呢個交叉啊，成個交叉，我哋有名嘅就係、是、叫做染色體。但喺呢个交叉入面啦，咦，其实佢系有两条嘅染色单体嘅，系啦，系文字上面嘅演绎嚟嘅啫，一个複製咗嘅染色体，即系呢个交叉，系有两条姊妹嘅染色单体嘅。你话无啦啦点解要有呢个名呢？咁啊，因为啦，嗱，一个交叉又系叫 chromosome。咁如果一條啦，你話，誒佢都係 DNA 整出嚟嘅啫，不如我都照樣叫 chromosome 啦。咁即係話染色體入面有染色體啊，你唔會咁樣陰自己㗎嘛。我哋就會講啦，一個複製咗嘅染色體入面係有兩條染色。
單體嗱，用中文去理解呢，係更加容易嘅。兩個單咪一雙咯，咪即係一個交叉啦，係咪？咁呢兩條嘅染色單體呢，就係呢個 central m i r r o r 著絲點呢，去黐埋一齊嘅。咁而家啦喺 Y 嘅呢個階段呢，喺前期啊嘛，剛剛做完呢個 DNA 嘅複製啦。咁即係我哋有十六個交叉。如果有十六個交叉嘅話啦，可以染色體嚟計，當然係有十六個染色體。一個染色體就有兩個姊妹嘅染色單體啊嘛。咁即係話啦，十六乘二呢，就係我哋染色單體嘅數目啦。而喺 set 嘅呢個階段呢，佢係後期啊嘛，咁我哋就會發現啦，本身呢，呢啲染色單體呢，就喺著絲點黐住，咁但係而家啦喺後期呢，呢個染色單體就係俾人滅開啦嘛，係咪？本身喺中期嘅時候呢，的確仲係有十六個交叉，即係十六條染色體嘅。但系当佢哋喺后期俾人搣开嘅时候啦，咁头先我讲过啊嘛，条复制咗嘅染色体即系一个交叉，就有两条嘅姊妹染色单体。咁而家我哋将佢斩开嘅时候啦，哦，好简单啫，两 Sir， 即系有三十二条嘅染色单体咯，唔系啊，当佢哋分开咗嘅时候，佢哋就独立发展噶啦嘛，就唔叫单体噶啦，就叫翻做染色体啦。咁所以啦，当两条嘅染色单体，即係你个交叉，中间劏开咗嘅时候呢，佢哋就会各自叫返做染色体。所以答案呢，就係三十二条染色体，但係呢係零条嘅染色单体啦。咁今次嘅题目呢，就係问返 Y 同埋 Set 啫。咁下次落未问埋你其他囉。喺间期啊，喺中期啊，喺末期嘅时候啦，究竟佢哋嘅染色体数字啦，同埋染色单体嘅数字喎。你想 check 下自己啱唔啱嘅话，将你嘅答案留喺留言区。好，又嚟到一点出发啦。今次嘅题目呢，就由細胞分裂开始嘅。咁今次就係问返有丝分裂啦，同埋有关遗传物质嘅概念啦。呢咧就係问返有丝分裂啫。咁下次问减数分裂得唔得？问你比较又得唔得？会产生几多个子細胞啊？产生嘅細胞会系双配体定系单配体嘅細胞啊？咁过往呢，都有一啲 essay 嘅题目啦，同埋 long question 嘅题目呢，去教返大家嘅。咁啊，快快手睇翻段片，温下书咯。跟住啦，去到遗传物质啦，染色质啦，染色体啦，染色单体啦，分唔分得清咧？啊，成条题目咧就系问翻整个有丝嘅细胞分裂，佢哋嘅唔同阶段啦，由间期啦去到前期、中期、后期同埋末期啦，究竟每一个阶段底下染色体有啲咩嘅行为咧？呢、這个染色体嘅行为咧，讲紧当细胞分裂嘅时候，啲染色体有冇一个恒常嘅喐动啦？例如啦，喺有丝嘅细胞分裂底下咧，啲染色体咧系喺细胞中间咧去排列起上。但系当我哋去到减数細胞分裂嘅时候咧，我哋就要留意一下咯。原来啲染色体系会 pair up， 系会配对，配对咗之后，先会喺个細胞中间去做个排列。而排列嘅时候，原来都有一个随机嘅分配。过往咧都有唔少关于細胞分裂嘅题目嘅，咁啊快快手睇翻段片温下书咯。Two two one question five is about cell division. A student prepares cells of the onion root tip for observing the cell division under light microscope. And in part A, what type of cell division is likely to take place in the root tip of an onion? And explain your answer. This question is very straightforward. It asks us to distinguish mitotic cell division from the meiotic cell division. And we know that meiotic cell division is to produce the gamete, which is the haploid cells. So, so for the meiotic cell division, it should be performed by the reproductive organ of the plants. And for the onion root tip, is it a reproductive part? For example, a flower of the plant? No, no, no. Therefore, the cells of the onion root tip they should undergo the mitotic cell division because the root tip is the vegetative part of the plant. It is not the reproductive part of the plant. You can refer to the chapter of the growth. The root tip is the region of growth. It undergoes the mitotic cell division to produce the new cells, and then the new cell will be pushed to the region of elongation, and the cell receive the oxygen. They will elongate to make the root become longer. Part B. We need to suggest one necessary step to make the chromosome observable under the light microscope. This question it shows you the concept that DNA is invisible, is colorless themselves. Therefore, if you have such concept, you will know that we need to use the stain to stain the chromosome. Or the teacher may also mention the name the stain. For example, the Kimsa stain make the chromosome become observable, become visible. And then for part C, some events of the cell division are randomly shown in the following photomicrograph VWXYZ. 
And for part 1, starting with the photomicrograph W, arrange the photomicrographs in the correct order to show the sequence of the events in the cell division. This question is very good. It tells you that the starting point is W. And then this question, it tells you that you need to identify the stage of the mitotic cell division, interface, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. No matter the question asks you to uh, arrange the order or not, I always suggest you that to have the good practice. Once you see the labeling or A, B, C, D or V, W, X, Y, Z, do the labeling first. So we have that W, oh, it's really the interface. And then for the other photomicrograph, we, we can observe the very unique chromosome behavior. For example, in photomicrograph Z, how do I know that it is the anaphase? Because I can see that because the sister chromatids, they separate and moving to the opposite pole of the cells. Or for the photomicrograph X, how can I know that it is metaphase? Because I can see that the chromosome, they lie up in the middle of the cells. Or I can label all of them. And then that's why I can get the answer from the interface W and then Y and then X and then Z and then V. And for part two, a normal onion root cells have 16 chromosomes and we need to complete the table to show the number of chromosomes and chromatids in the photomicrographs Y and Z. So for this question, it checks out that, oh, what does it mean, 16 chromosomes? It means that in the diploid cell, there are two sets of chromosomes and the total number is 16. Eight chromosomes come from the male and the other X chromosome come from the female and then combine together to become the 2N. And the next concept we need to check is to distinguish the chromosome from the chromatid. So what is the relationship between that? So we know that before the cell division, the DNA will be replicate or the chromosome will be duplicate. And we shall see this X structure, which is a duplicated chromosome. And in this duplicated chromosome, these two sister chromatids, they are attached to each other by a central mirror in the early stages of, of mitosis. Therefore, one duplicated chromosome is equal, is a con, consists of two sister chromatids. And then for stage Y, prophase. So for prophase, DNA is already replicated. There are also duplicated chromosomes, and there are 16 duplicated chromosome. Therefore, for the number of chromosome, surely 16. So how many chromatids are here? One duplicated chromosome. There are two sister chromatids. Therefore, 16 duplicated chromosome. There will be 32 chromatids. Then for photomicrograph Z, which is the anaphase. So before we talk about the anaphase, we know that in metaphase, there are still 16 duplicated chromosome. And in anaphase, and in the anaphase, the sister chromatids they are separated, moved to the opposite poles of the cells. So you can see that separation of the sister chromatids. So what do we get when two sister chromatids separate from each other? They are regarded as two chromosomes, but not chromatids anymore. Therefore, there will be 32 chromosomes, but zero chromatids. So any possible question variation? This question just asks you the number of chromosomes in Y and Z stage. So what about in other phases, in interphase, in metaphase, in the telophase? You leave your answer in the comment section and, and let's see is your concept clear. So let's talk about the curriculum mapping. This question starts from the cell division and it tells you about the mitotic cell division and the genetic material. So this time it just talk about the mitotic cell division, but what about next time? It can ask you about the meiotic cell division and may ask you about the comparison, the number of daughter cells produced and what about the uh, genetic material in the cell? Is it diploid or haploid? And for the genetic material, the chromatin, chromosome, chromatids, are you familiar with them? Can you distinguish all of them from each other? And for this question, it also checks out the various stages in the cell division. This part mainly we focus on the mitotic cell division. How can we identify the different stages? It depends on the chromosome behavior. It means the routine movement of chromosome during cell division. For example, in the metaphase, we can see that the chromosome will lie up in the middle of the cell. They are undergoing mitotic.
mitotic cell division. But what about in the meiotic cell division? We know that in the prophase, the homologous chromosome, they will pair up, and the pair up chromosome, they will lie up in the middle of the cells. But when they are lying up in the middle of the cells, there will be random assortment or independent assortment. You can watch the video for the revision.